at 10, the city of Bastrop moves forward with its park improvement project. That's right, NBC 10's Valen Moravi spoke to residents of, and one local official about the new makeover. Parks are the heart of all neighborhoods. My mother bought us, I'm bringing my kids, and now my grandkids coming. As you can see, we come from Winsboro because it's the best spot. Dodson Park is one of the nine local parks soon to be fully renovated to help enhance the quality of life for citizens. The $400,000 project is allocated from the Love Louisiana Outdoor Program. And we recognize it needs some upgrades. That's why we welcome this grant so much. This grant is going to really, really be a great facelift for our parks and for the citizens and the children and for everybody to, to appreciate. Some of the main features will include a brand new playground equipment, picnic tables, an updating bathroom facility, and more. Public Works Director Ronald Wilhite says the city plans on installing new lighting to prevent shortages from happening and provide safety to the parks. We're just trying to make the electrical building compatible to the LED lights. We're going to also add more lighting in uh, areas where it's dark at, in the park to uh, make sure the kids be safe as they plan on the equipment. This is where we have our birthdays, all such kinds of events, and that would be great. The city has also invested in improving other facilities aiming to attract citizens of all ages and inspire the youth to become more active. It feels great, you know, to have a different environment, you know, different things to see. And things like this, I think it'll help the community evolve. This is where I grew up, this is what side I grew up on. I always wanted to play basketball, so before I could come here, get my game right, I had to go to the slab down there. It was good down there. Mayor Alford says all nine parks are expected to be fully renovated before the end of the year. For more details on these parks, visit myarklimus.com. Reporting in Bastrop and Valerie Moravi for your Arklimus News Source.